Well, Greens came third in the 2012 election. I think we've got a really good chance of doing even better than that this time. Um, but also, we've got 16 years of experience on the London Assembly. We've had Jenny Jones and Darren Johnson there uh, making actual real changes to what the previous mayors have done. We had a casting vote over the mayor's budget for four years. And I think in this election, even if I'm not mayor, we can get to the position where we've got that kind of casting vote, that kind of real influence over the mayor's policies again. I've been uh, working with grassroots campaigns for many years now. I was a transport campaigner uh, since about 2003 and uh, I've helped make changes to government policies, to the mayor's policies, to local council's policies uh, right across the board and I think, uh, you know, I do have the ability to work with grassroots groups, to work with local people, local people's concerns um, and get that translated into actual changes to policy. I'm also a local councillor in Camden which keeps me incredibly grounded uh, with local issues and people's individual problems and casework. And it's really important that you do uh, have that ability to look after ordinary people's uh, actual concerns on the ground. When I go out and speak to people, really the issue they always bring up is housing. Uh, that's often the cost of rent, or it's sometimes the fact that they or their children are being forced out of central London, forced to move further away. I want to tackle that in a number of ways. I want to set up a London Renters' Union, which would be independent of City Hall, but, but helped to be funded by us uh, to lobby for the rights of renters. I want to help campaign for uh, rent controls at a national level. And on house building, I mean, there is a lot of public land that we can use in the most effective way possible to build the 200,000 homes we need by 2020. I want to work with smaller developers, cooperatives, uh, self-builders, create a much sort of broader, wider, more diverse ecology of house building. And I think we'll get more homes more quickly that way too. I mean, housing is my number one issue, but air pollution is another crisis we absolutely cannot afford not to deal with in the next mayoral term. Yesterday, I put out my uh, Clean Air Plan for London, and uh, the Clean Air Campaign for London rated it 10 out of 10. It's because Greens, we really get the integrated nature of dealing with things like this. We want to not only change to clean, cleaner vehicles, but also reduce the levels of traffic, help people travel in more sustainable ways, and we'll integrate that with planning too. We want to make sure people have shops, services, schools, all their work within walking and cycling distance as far as possible. London is already the most congested city, I think, in Europe, um, and we need the next mayor to get to grips with this. At the moment, we have a congestion charge just for the centre of London. It's a very blunt instrument, and it's actually out of date. We need to replace that with something much smarter that goes London-wide, that rewards drivers for travelling outside rush hour, uh, travelling in cleaner cars as well. Um, and all the industry bodies agree with this. You've got the Institute of Civil Engineering, the Royal Academy of Engineers, you've got business groups like London First and the Federation of Small Business is. They all want a smarter congestion charging system for London so that we can get to grips with this once and for all. Leaving Europe would be an absolute disaster for London. So many of our citizens come from there, citizens working in our businesses, helping to create jobs for the rest of us. Um, and also people who are you know, in relationships with people in London. Uh, these are our friends, these are our family and we shouldn't be throwing them out and throwing everyone into uncertainty with the, with the votes and the referendum. I think we need to vote to stay in. Mm -hmm.